All right, so let's talk about what an app is, and let's get some of the you know kind of programming terminology uh, that you'll need to know as as we move along. So, so first of all, kind of traditionally, an app was thought of as kind of as a recipe. So you do do one, do two, do three. You know, you do all these steps, and it's just a sequence of instructions. And and when we were talking about like computing things and math formulas, this this makes sense. But you know, most modern software. You know, it's it's not that way. You have a user interface, and really the app is more like an event response machine. So, you know, there's a user or users, right? And the user kind of, you know, maybe they click a button or drag the mouse or, you know, on the phone, drag their finger on the screen. And those are all kind of user interface events, right? Or UI events. And what happens is the app, when such a UI event occurs it's got a response so you get some response to that so you think of the the app as this event response machine so you know button clicks are one example you know in in the app you just built uh, you know texting coming in you know some other phone um, text the software or text the app the phone okay and the app responds right with a text of its own so that's where when we built the first part of the broadcast hub, you know, a text comes in and we responded with some text. Here, this one's a little different. This one's just responding by saying, you know, don't bug me. You know, maybe I'm driving my car. I don't want somebody to bother me. But that's another example of an event. And, you know, we, we might call texting kind of like an external event, right? Um, another external event you might consider, say, the um, GPS satellite. It might send an event which is, hey, the phone has changed location, here's the coordinates. So that's another another kind of event. Um, another kind of event you might think of is, is you know, think of the clock, and, and really this is, you know, father time, right? And time can be an event. So what, what should the app do as time passes? Um, so anyway, you're going to write apps that kind of deal with these kind of events and, and more. And what your app is going to be is not really you know, not really a recipe, but a, a number of recipes, but where the recipes are kind of subordinate to events. So you'll have, you know, say event one, event two, and there'll be some instructions to get done in response to those events. And kind of what your app is going to be is a bunch of these event handlers, a bunch of these little mini programs that respond to, to events, okay? And, you know, we call each one of these. So each one of these guys is an event handler. Okay, and that's a term you want to for sure know. And, you know, our first example of that was, was this event handler where the event was the message received. So that's the event. The response is all that stuff. And the whole thing is called an event handler. All right, so we're going to move on and we're going to see some complexities like if statements and loops within the recipes that we write and the event handlers we write. Um, but for now, you know, the main takeaway is an app is a set of event handlers.